Experienced screen printers often require more exacting systems of registration to achieve a higher standard of print quality. The pin and tab method will offer precise registration of printed layers and can be used in conjunction with a vacuum printing table. Remember that when working in the screen printing studios you need appropriate clothing and you must wear enclosed shoes. Lab coats are also provided and hearing protection must be used during the operation of the vacuum printing table. Your paper needs to be prepared and it's best to begin by trimming all of your archival printing paper to size. Have available a minimum of two registration pins. If using two pins you need two tabs for every sheet of paper you're using and a roll of painter's tape. Prepare enough sheets of paper to complete your edition and for the odd misprint. Place one sheet of paper on a flat clean surface with the printing side face down. Using painter's tape adhere a minimum of two registration pins to the surface of the bench so that the pins are spaced equally within five centimetres of the outer edge of one side of your paper. Place a tab on each pin ensuring that it lays across the printing paper and then tape each tab to the paper. When doing this it's important to remember not to place the tabs too close to an area that you intend to print as this could affect your print quality. Leave this sheet attached as a template. Place another sheet of paper over the top of the paper that has already been tabbed to the pins. Place tabs on pins and tape the tabs to this new piece of paper. Once attached, remove that top sheet and then repeat this process for all of the sheets that you're intending to print. Remove the pins and then store them securely as you'll need these when you're printing. The printing station is the vacuum printing table or VPT. It's a counterweighted screen frame over a sloping bench with a pump that sucks air through small holes on the surface of the printing base. This keeps your paper firmly attached to the bench while printing. You may require access to another space to accommodate your printing materials. Check that this bench is clean and dry. The materials gathered should include your tabbed paper, a squeegee, your printing paste, acrylic paint, a sheet of acetate, a plastic container with a lid, a roll of masking tape, a spatula to apply the ink, dry rags and newspaper. It's important to check that the blade edge is sharp with no cuts or nicks as this will affect your print quality. Check that there's enough free space in the drying racks to accommodate your wet prints. Check your screen mesh and stencil for holes or faults. These can be covered with emulsion or masking tape. If you have more than one stencil positive on your screen, use newsprint or tape to block that area of the screen out so ink doesn't pass through. Position your screen into the two open adjustable brackets of the VPT so that the flat side of the screen is facing down. The adjustable brackets should be flush to the edges of the screen frame. Make sure you position the screen over the holes on the bench base. There are four clamps on the adjustable brackets. Check that they're completely open as they will tear your mesh if you put your screen on top of them. Depending upon the size of your screen, you can either use two or four clamps to secure it in position. Adjust by unscrewing and then screwing the bolt part of the clamp. Be aware of pinch points when you press the clamp down to lock. Once your screen is secure, you can lift the screen frame to the up position. The counterweight system allows the whole frame to be easily raised up and down onto your bench base. To engage off contact or snap printing, adjust the screws at the front and back of the VPT. This will raise or lower the screen from the bench base. Five millimeters should be sufficient. 
After your squeegee passes ink, the screen snaps back upwards and the ink is undisturbed on your paper. Raise the screen frame and place a sheet of acetate onto the printing base. The acetate must be larger than your printing paper. Then tape the acetate securely to the bench base so that it can be flipped away from the printing area but repositioned if need be. Remember that the inks are water soluble and for best results use artist quality acrylic paints. Using a plastic container, mix your printing paste with your acrylic paint in a ratio of approximately 30 to 40 percent paste to 60 to 70 percent acrylic paint. Mediums can also be added for either gloss or transparency. Lower the screen onto the bench and place a generous amount of ink into the screen reservoir at the back end of the screen. Place hearing protection over your ears and then turn the vacuum pump motor on by pressing the switch on the right side of the VPT to the down position. Lower the screen frame to engage the suction. Disperse ink along the squeegee in an area greater than the stencil to be printed. Use the squeegee to pull a portion of ink along the screen over the exposed stencil and this will transfer the ink onto your acetate. Raise the screen and flood coat. When the screen frame is up, the action of the vacuum is turned off. Slide in a sheet of tabbed paper and position so that the image is aligned to the format on your paper. Tape your pins to the bench base. Then carefully position your registration pins into the holes of your tabs that are attached to your paper. Lower the screen frame and print using the standard motion of the squeegee so the ink transfers onto your paper. One pass of the squeegee should be sufficient, but you can use two passes without affecting your image. Raise the screen frame and then re-flood coat. Remove the printed paper and place in the drying rack. Repeat this process until all of your paper has been printed. After printing, remove excess ink as quickly as possible. Place your screen in the washout trough. Wet the screen before returning to the VPT. You must clean the bed of the vacuum table completely, otherwise residue paint could block out the holes on the printing base. And this will detrimentally affect the print quality for anyone else using it. Return to the washout trough and then clean the screen so that the ink residue doesn't dry and block out the mesh of your screen. When all of your printing is complete, strip the emulsion and ink residue from your screen and return it to a Manking Centre technical staff member.